Have you ever heard of this chime? Unless if you are a huge JDM enthusiast, you probably wouldn't know what that chime is. But there's a reason why the Japanese automakers had to install a chime in every single car they made. Well, first of all, all the new Japanese cars don't have this anymore. Every Japanese car made today doesn't have this chime. So, thank God. But anyways, why did the Japanese automakers make the chime in the first place? Why did they have to install it in the first place? Here's why. Back in the 1980s, the international speed limit in Japan is 100 kilometers an hour, which is equivalent to 60 miles an hour here in America, or 62 to be more precise. And the government uh, requires that every automaker to install a chime that alerts you that you're going over the speed limit of 100 kilometers an hour. So basically, if you're going over 100 kilometers an hour or 60 miles an hour, let's say if you're going around 61 miles an hour, you will be hearing this chime. As long as you're driving over 100 kilometers or 60 miles an hour, that chime will never turn off. Let's say you imported a Nissan R32 GTR from Japan and you like to drive it, it's all well and good. But once you get onto the freeway, you just made a bad mistake, my friend. The reason why I say that is because the average speed of traffic flow in American freeways is 65 to 70 miles an hour. Now try driving from Los Angeles, California to San Francisco using the Interstate 5, uh, which is about five hours from point A to point B with this. Your ears will be bleeding. The only time that that chime is ever gonna go away is once you exit off the freeway and stop at a petrol station. <laughs> Once you get back onto the freeway, make sure you cover your ears. You don't want them to be bleeding, don't you?